in a world, in a house, in a chest. Oh, hello there. Hold on. Wait. Oh. Um, that's, that's not good. How long has this thing been recording again? Ah, another beautiful morning in front of me and my humble, well, okay, this garden isn't too humble and there's a lot going on, but, don't worry, I got it figured out, let me show you. I've been busy, if you couldn't tell. There's a couple new things going on here, but um, the ones you've probably already noticed are the fact that um, there's a scarecrow here now. And also the garden is much bigger. But um, yes, this is Louis the Scarecrow, or Luis. He doesn't mind pronunciation. He is, I have given him a hat and a name and a tunic. This took me about 20 minutes of shearing sheep to make these banners, but don't worry about it. It's okay. But six, I hear you ask. Where on earth did you get the wool to make that those banners from? I, uh, I got them from here. <laughs> Basically, I, um, got a whole bunch of sheep. I got, I started off with two, and then I slowly bred them up, and then I got a whole bunch of dyes from different places, because, you know, there's flowers, and you can turn them into colors. I also made a couple deals with some wandering traders to get some of the rarer colors, and now I have basically the entire color spectrum here. also have a chest full of, uh, again, all of the colors of the color spectrum, because I've been a little bit busy. I will also say that um, there's a couple pink sheep in here. Those, their their coats were dyed in. This is, this guy just naturally appeared on a nearby hill. <laughs> um, I haven't named them yet, but that's a sheep. And it's, uh, and I'm keeping them outside of the pen just so that I can differentiate between them until I can find a name tag. I also have some chickens in a one-by-one one square pen, um, very ethical and OSHA compliant. And then I have a bunch of cows in a larger than a one-by-one one pen, also completely ethical and OSHA compliant. Stop looking at me like that. Come, just, no. All of this wool hasn't been put to waste though, because, okay, you guys are gonna really like this one. Boom. Colors. I thought my house was looking a little bit too bland and boring, so I got just like a bunch of random different colors of carpet and and turned some of them into carpet and some of them into banners. And now this whole place looks a lot more decorated and lived in. It really it it's very very bright and not cohesive at all, but that's kind of on purpose. I'm no interior designer, but I do like this place a lot better now. Also. I will just, also I added some uh, birch trapdoors and some st and some upside down stairs here. I've been busy at home, yes, but I have also been doing some exploring and I have found a couple of, whoops, hold on. I have also found a very, a couple of very interesting things on the other side of the mountain that we appeared on. Let me just uh, sleep real quick and then I'll show you. If you go all the way from over there, which is where our house is, go trek across the peaks and take a left and come over to this cliff, the ocean passes by far, far below. And it does this in several directions. Actually, what the heck is that? Hold on. That looks really suspicious. This has got to be like the scariest hike. 
down a mountain that I've ever taken because look at how steep this thing is, man. I don't even know how we met how I managed to get across this like the first time I was like stuck on one of these trees. It's absolutely brutal out here. <sighs> okay, so what I've found during my wanderings around is that there is an entire peninsula of relatively low-lying stone hanging around here. And while it's absolutely horrible to try and get across if you're on the water, with a little bit of, of very intense hiking, you can get to most of the spots here just fine, I've found. I've also, um, I also only have one piece of bread left, so this, uh, probably wasn't too smart of- this probably hasn't been my smartest idea. However, I think I could have sworn that somewhere along the coast here, I saw a sunken ship. Aha! Right there. There it is. What I wanted to do was maybe chop down a tree, get a boat, and then go over there and see what's inside. And like, okay, so I know I have this arm that is clearly mechanical and or electronic, and you're probably wondering, wait, you can't go into water, can you? It, won't that just ruin your prosthetic? That is probably extremely expensive. <laughs> um, <laughs> it was. But also, uh, no, actually, this thing is waterproof. And also, I have a boat. It's fine. <laughs> oh god, the sun's going down. Okay, we're gonna have to make this quick and probably hunker down in a hole again. Turns out there was only one chest in there, but it held some pretty useful stuff, including some wheat. Which is good, because again, it's getting really dark out here and I just ran out of bread. However, we also got some moss. Which... I don't know if you know, but moss is pretty dang cool, and... Okay, um, hold on. I also got some coal. So I think if I just, like, sticked a torch here or something, and just... <laughs> there were torches in my inventory the whole time, and I tried to... <laughs> I tried to craft a torch using a torch. <laughs> ah, yes. I will use the torch to make the torch. <laughs> I have no brain cells sometimes, I swear. And then I stuck myself inside of a wooden box for 10 minutes. Actually, you know what? I took a boat out further just so that I wouldn't be out of spawn distance and... It's actually pretty peaceful here. The moon's already halfway overhead and I lit up the sunken ship just to make sure nothing would spawn on it and right now it's just me, the fish, and the squid and it's oddly peaceful out here. Maybe the dark's not as bad as I thought it was. I hope that wherever the moon goes at night, it's a peaceful place. And I hope it has a nice rest. And I hope the stars that fade in the in wake of the glory of the sun find peace too. Oh, you. You don't get anywhere near me, okay? You hear that, bub? I am being chased by spiders and I'm, like, this close to actually genuinely dying. Okay. Okay, I think, I think we're safe. I, uh, I think we're good. Um. Ugh. 
let's just take it easy for the next little bit, shall we? Oof. Made it. Hey, let's go. Never mind, I forgot to bring torches. Hold on. Okay, here we go. Looks like there's some other things down here, but you know, as soon as long as we don't actually run into any of them, we should be good. I'm keeping an eye on. Yep, there's a skeleton. Ah, that would explain why. Uh, let's go down this way instead. My pickaxe broke. I am now down to deep slate level, as you can see, and it's not actually that bad down here. Haven't really run into too much, got a little bit of lapis and a little bit of iron. I also crafted a couple extra pickaxes because I'm about to run out of mine, but this isn't half as bad as I thought it would be. That's good to know. Ah, we've hit bedrock level. I wonder if it's actually on as unbreakable as they say. Yep. Looks like it. Aha! Diamonds! How many? Are you kidding me? Aha! More diamonds. Hopefully there's more than one this time. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, that's good. Is there... Anything else in there? Hello? That's it? Okay. After three pickaxes later, we have gotten five diamonds, which I have just crafted into a pickaxe, and all of this. <laughs> Turns out that there is a lot that you can get. And most of it is just deep slate, because... Ooh, that's it. It's a lot of deep sleep. But I was also thinking... A sword. Since I'm probably- since we're probably going to need one coming up. But yeah, I'd say that was a pretty successful mining session and... You know, for a little hole in the side of the hill, it wasn't actually all that bad. I'd say that... Yeah, I'd say that wasn't that bad at all, actually. And with that, everybody, that is it for today's episode of Project Nexus. Thank you for tuning in. Don't like, don't subscribe, I'm not your mom, and I'll see you all next time. It was nice, it was very nice having you all here, and I would also just like to say thank you for all of the support that I have been receiving lately. I have been- I'm dealing with a lot of stuff, which is why these episodes don't come out as often as they could be. However, I'm still trying my best to like, you know, stick with this instead of burning myself out by going way too fast. And I do have some big things planned for this series, but you're gonna have to wait for that. So, thank you. I'll see you later. Good.